Hey, my name is Landon Ball. I'm with Rainbow City Fire Department in Northeast Alabama. And we are here at the Pierce plant uh, doing a final inspection on our Pierce Dash CF puck. This is our second, our second puck and um, it really suits our needs for the size department. We are, um, we only have two, well, we have seven personnel on, on duty at a time. Um, but we're able to put all of our equipment on the truck and uh, have it at the scene if we need it. We don't have to get somebody to go back to the, to the station to, uh, to get what we need. So just do walk around. This, um, like I said, this is our second DAS truck. Uh, we've changed things up with this one. It's a clean concept cab, so uh, we went with the vinyl seats and no air packs in the cab. They're all stored in the sealed compartment in the back. But this cab is super spacious and very quiet. Uh, you can talk to the person in the back without any issues. And this is another change we made to this truck. Um, before we had two seats in the front, four seats in the back. This one just has two seats in the back and we've added the medic compartment. We're an ALS department, so we have a lot of medic supplies. And uh, we've got the same thing on the other side. So this frees up room in the back of the truck for us for some additional equipment. We can, we can get to the medic cabinet from the back. And like I said, this is a clean cab truck. So these are just regular vinyl seats. They don't have air pack brackets in them. Uh, this is another design we liked on this truck is being able to check our fluids right here while standing on the ground. You don't have to raise the truck, raise the cab. And this center compartment in there uh, will be mostly our water rescue equipment, uh, life jackets and throw ropes and stuff like that. These are our cross lays, two, two inch and three quarter lines and a two and a half inch pre-connect. Our 1,500 gallon per minute pump with our uh, switches for flood lights, scene lights, and uh, evacuation horn. We've got spare bottle holders above the wheel wells. This is just random. Uh, for us, we just put uh, hand tools and stuff like that in there. Uh, well, we have a foam tank on this truck, so we put the, the nozzle for that in here as well. This compartment is for our chainsaws, K12, and um, we have a small generator. We didn't put a, a large generator on this truck. Uh, just a small generator here and our battery powered fan. We've also got uh, hitches on all four corners or all four sides of the truck uh, to assist any kind of rope rescues that we may have. Our ladders are stored in here and we've added, our first truck didn't have this option, but we've added an option for uh, backboard storage right there. We've got long pipe poles and our attic ladder up there.
This compartment will have our battery powered uh, combi tool in it and our hydrant bag and a few other loose items like that. We will have a um, portable master stream mounted to the back of the truck right here. And it'll be pre-connected to the two and a half inch hose up top. All right, this is for our turnout gear and SCBAs. This is, uh, this is where all of our contaminated equipment's gonna be stored. Our SCBAs are gonna mount on the pack track on the back wall. And we'll also have our thermal, our thermal imager in here um, and probably batteries and some other things that get contaminated. These are all of our, where all of our, our hand tools are gonna go. Uh, we have this same thing on our previous truck and we really like it. It holds everything that we we need. Uh, we don't have to. We don't have to keep a lot of tools that we once had up top. We don't have to keep them up top. We can have them down here. So. Uh, we we have these these on, just like the other side, but on one of these we'll have our uh, water can and uh, ABC extinguisher in one of them. This will be our rope equipment. Uh, just it'll nearly take up this whole compartment, plus some up top. Um, and we've added this tilt-down tray just to help for the short guys. One thing that we we realized on our first truck when we did final inspection was getting to this two and a half up here. It was a little reach for some people, so we added these step, this step that flips out. And that, that really made a big difference, so we're glad we did that. This is our other compartment for medic supplies. It has charger, we'll have a charger in here for our suction that gets needs charged and our um, video laryngoscope and a couple other things, monitors, stuff like that. So we added the um, front brow lights and we have them angled just a little bit and they're on uh, separate switches. I think the angle is eight degrees. So we can, when we're on the highway, we can turn one side on and we're not blinding on coming traffic. And uh, we have a hundred foot of inch and three quarter line on the front bumper. And this side will have one inch forestry hose. Uh, we don't have a real line on this truck. That's been a, a big, move. Uh, some people like it, some people don't, but forestry hose is easy to. Thanks for watching and uh, thank you EEP for being so easy to deal with. Uh, we've really enjoyed our time up here, even though it's freezing, and uh, we look forward to doing business in the future.